Okay guys, here we go again. Rose just gave me a call. She's having a problem with her AC system. It's not turning on. So let's go find out what the problem is. All right, what's the problem? Now what? The air won't run. I can feel it. All right. It's 8182 in here. I came home and no air. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the thermostat. Make sure that's all right. All right, so we're on. Let's push this right, turn it on. Battery's good. You changed the battery yeah, out, right? Yeah, changed the battery. All right, too. you're showing 76 and cool fan on, and we have nothing. All right, and there's your return mm -hmm. right here. So let's go inside. All right, so there's your panel right there, and there's your handler. This is the light that you have? This is as bright as it is? No, when I put the bulb in, it was real bright because I wanted to have it where the guy came. And now it's dim? Yeah, it's dim. Is there anything else dim or no? Yeah, this light out here isn't working now. See? All right, you have a problem with your wiring then. All right, let's do this first. I'm going to use this tester I gave you a while back. This is Harbor Freight Special. <laughs> <laughs> Harbor Freight Special. So this is on. Now the contactor in here should be triggered and right here we got a breaker inside here hopefully you can see that with the camera right there let's take this screw off right here because i want to see if you have power to this unit and there's a simple way to test it and boy is it beautiful out today not in the house you mean yeah all right all right so this there's not much inside this system right here hopefully the camera's catching all this you have the dual capacitor at the top. Now, if you take a look right here, yeah. there's a spot that you can press in. That's for testing. Your line is coming in at the bottom. That's 120, 120 is 240. And one side feeds through and the other side is switched. So what I want to do is by pushing this, the system should come on. If the system doesn't come on, that means you don't have power right here. Let's push that. All right, oh, so we got good. nothing there. So now hold this right here to the side for me so they can see what's going on. Make sure my camera's in the right spot. All right, right there. And let's go between here and ground. 93. Let's actually put it on this one. 200. All right, let's try it again. No, that's not normal. And that is normal. So what you have is you have one leg that's out. What does that mean? One leg is your, your AC line. In order to make 240, you need 120 and 120. The two together makes 240. And if you measure between one and ground, it's going to give you 120. And this one and there is going to give you 120. So where's the problem? So the problem is going to be further back. So now let's go over here. And what's crazy is that your air handler isn't even running. It's not? So that sounds like there's something going on in your panel. Because uh, inside panel. your breaker panel, because for this not to be running, yeah. and we have the thermostat set to on for the fan, and it's not even running inside. So that's telling me there's a power issue. So if I go over here, let's take a look over here. Maybe there's a problem with the breaker. Right here's your line coming in, up and around, and this goes to the unit. And this one here is going to, I don't know what. So right here, nothing. All right, now if I go to the top where the line comes in, same thing so we're good out here let's close this all up and then let's go inside and let's see what's going on here now so the air handler is not working either and here is this leave the door open you know why i can't really see too much it's kind of dark we use the flashlight Nah, just leave that open this is the old fpe panel these were prone to fires and when you go to sell your house they like you to swap these out even though it's been here for probably 60 years with no problems let me open this up and we're going to find out exactly what's going on. I got a question for you. Yeah. What would you do if I didn't live across the street? I'd be... <laughs> they popcorn and they get, not only did they do your ceiling, but they had the panel open. Ah, a bunch of idiots. All right, hold us. All right, leave that door open so we could see. Now let me have the tester. You can see there's a surge arrestor just laying in here. Not the greatest. I want to go to the top and see if we have 240 at the lugs. So let's go like this. 
Ah, uh, look at this. You got one leg out. And that explains why anything that's 240 is not working. And that's uh, not a bad thing now. It's the power company's gonna have to fix it. What? Because, yeah, wait a second. This goes to the meter can. Yeah, you see this? Yeah, you're not getting full power. Now, if I go between one of the lugs over here and to ground, you see 124? Okay. So that leg is good. Okay. If I go here, that leg, yep, it's showing like it was doing outside, 88. Problems, not your AC system. It's the air handler's fine. It's, it's a power problem. Where's your meter can at? By the way, they were cutting on my tree. Well, what do you mean cutting on your tree? Show me. They're supposed to be taking the tree down. They only took part of it so far. Oh, they were cutting that tree, the big one right there? No, this one. Pine tree. They were cutting that? And it landed on the wire. Oh, you didn't tell me that. That's what happened. I got a picture of what they did this morning. Hey, wait a second. It landed on this wire? Yeah. Yeah, that's your line going to the meter. I mean, to the can. Oh, wow, look at the hawk. That is beautiful. Let's get closer. Patty has one at her house. I hope they can see this on video. That's a beautiful bird. That is a hawk. That's a hawk. Let's go over this way. Wow, you don't see too many of those around here. Patty had one this morning when I went up. I hope they can see this when I zoom in. That's a pretty bird. All right, so let's go over here and see what's going on. They, where'd they drop it? It fell on this line going to the transformer? Yeah, right here. They probably yanked it out of the transformer. Let me see something. Look at that hawk, don't move. Let's go on this side and look at it. All right, let me see what's going on here. Boy, I tell you one thing, you got some skinny, skinny wires heading into that house. Look very small. And you can see what I'm looking at here? It looks like it's pulling. You see the wire right there? There's two side by side? Yeah. That's your 220, that's a 110. If you look at the transformer, the lugs, there's three of them right there. Oh, I see them. All right, so the, the lugs, the outer ones, that's 120, 120, and the middle's your center tap, which is your neutral. The neutral's ground, or goes to that line you see right here. Yeah. And that ties into the bare wire that drapes. Oh, look right there. Yeah. Oh, I the see The line's it. busted. That's where it landed. <laughs> they busted your line right here. I can show you the Yeah, it snapped all the way through. There it is guys, end of story. Now we gotta call a power company because in order to fix that, I don't know if they're gonna wanna just strip each side and put a, a butt splice connector in there and crimp it or they're gonna wanna change out the wire because it is pretty old. But it's their responsibility between the meter and the transformer. We're gonna call the power company and when they get here, I will film again to show you what they do. This is where the line connects to the house. You can see the weather head comes all the way down to the meter can and it just so happens the meter has no power because one leg has been cut. That, that's what grabs onto the line. It's, it's like a wedge. It goes over the that thing dangling. Yeah, the one dangling right above his head. That goes over the, the line and it slides and it grabs the cable. They grab the outside of the cable so it holds it against the house. That's what that's for. It's just a wedge. See the line laying on the ground? And Right over there, in front of the tree, is where they're going to make the splice. They're going to connect each one of those cut ends back together. So what, what did they do with that? That crimps it back together. Putting it back onto the house by the weather head. Right here, you can see the line is now connected back up to the house. And each one of the lines, the only one that has a butt connector that they just crimped is the neutral. 
But if you look at the other lines, the 120 volt lines or each leg, they have a black plastic connector and they're insulated. Once the stripped wire is inserted inside that black plastic connector, it's tightened down and the bolt shears off and you cannot pull the cable out. It's a one-time use thing. If you ever have to change something, you're going to have to cut that out and throw it in the trash. Right over here, meters back up. Now let's make sure the air is running. And here we are, up and running. Fan looks like it's spinning slow, but it's actually spinning fast. That's the frame rate of the camera giving you the illusion that it's not spinning that fast. Everything looking good. How come every time you call me there's a problem? This one wasn't mine. I didn't do this. <laughs> you didn't. The tree cutters did it this time. And they're coming back tomorrow. They're supposed to come back tomorrow to cut the whole thing down. That whole tree they're going to cut down. And it's going to probably land on the line again. Oh, no. And it won't go well. Right All right, now, guys. Right now I'm as happy as a pig in the woods. Pig in the woods? Yeah, pig in the woods. I'd say something else, but... You're being very ladylike. I'm trying. Trying hard? I'm trying real hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.